And on to other stories, the current face-off between the Nigeria Police and Police Service Commission have been seen as another form of lapses of the administration powers of the government of the day in the country. Workers of Police Service Commission through the union body has issued a circular to embark on industrial action on Monday, 29th August 2022 to show their grievances for the alleged takeover of the recruitment of 10,000 constables by the police lack of staff promotion, training by the commission management, among other issues. Galaxy's news correspondent Levi Joseph has more in this report. Workers of the Police Service Commission have accused the IJP of illegally carrying out the functions of the PSC in flagrant disregard of the Nigerian constitution. The verdict of the appeal court and the authorities of the commission and this development have been critically condemned by notable Nigerians. The act setting up the Nigerian Police Service Commission gives the commission the right, the duty to oversee the functions of the Nigerian Police Force, the recruitment, the training, the promotion of the Nigerian Police uh, policemen. Uh, they are the duties of the Nigerian Police Service Commission. It is this Police Service Commission that has the power to appoint, including the, uh, the uh, Inspector General of Police, to appoint. The only thing is that for the, uh, for the Office of Inspector General of Police, it will appoint and make recommendation to the president, uh, oh, no, it will recommend and make uh, the recommendation to the president of the country who will now, who will now appoint appropriately. Looking at the functions of the Nigerian Police and Police Service Commission as enshrined in the Constitution, it was said that there shouldn't be any form of clash, most especially when the two are working for the same goal of having good and functional police outfit that can provide adequate security for the people. But unfortunately, over the years, the Office of Inspector General of Police have assumed a larger-than-life role because to all intents and purposes, they see themselves as the Ogakpata Pata as it were. And because of that, maybe when they have a subservient or somebody who is not that particular, or who cannot throw himself around as a chairman of the Police Service Commission, the Inspector General of Police takes over. More so if the Inspector General of Police is in the good books of the President. He does whatever he wants. And I guess that has now blossomed into what is happening now. It's not something that should be in conflict or in controversy. I don't know why in this particular administration there's nothing we have not seen. It is the very first time somebody will be talking of the Nigerian Police Service Commission going on strike or all that or even the police. It's, it's very terrible. Meanwhile, the Police Service Commission has been blamed and accused of negligence for the complaints of the workers of the Commission about their welfare, promotions and training. Mike Omonan and Wale Gwade believe that the three points the workers are agitating on are very germane to having a very real and productive staff. It's an oversight on the part of the Police Service Commission because they concentrate on the policemen instead of uh, taking care of their staff too. You know, because of the insecurity situation in the country, everybody is thinking of how to boost the policeman's uh, ego or effort to fight this insecurity. And that probably is the reason that they have sort of abandoned their duties in respect of the staff of the Police Service Commission. Powers of the Police Service Commission being muzzled by the, Inspector, by the Office of Inspector General of Police to the extent that all the things that need to be done are not done appropriately. And if things are not done appropriately, obviously it will cause crisis. The federal government was charged to, as a matter of urgency, wade into the problem within the two establishments so as to ensure that it did not degenerate to a national crisis that could completely collapse the alien security system in the country.